Welcome to another video from Doc Lock. Today we're going to look at a, a lock and I'm going to show you how to pick this lock with a piece of wire or a bobby pin or something along those notes, something along those lines. So this is a Lockwood um, made by Asa Abloy 5 pin in line pin cylinder and I'm going to show you how to get it open with a piece of wire. So let's get going. Yeah. Yet, our two Mark MacGyvers might well have remembered the light bulb stunt from TV. That doesn't necessarily make them smart, and it sure doesn't mean they can pick this lock. You want to give it a shot? <laughs> After a few minutes, Adam hands over to Jay. Okay, so the first challenge is with this particular lock opening is you're going to need a tool. And when we say bobby pin, that might have been all right in the 60s, but I don't think anyone has bobby pins anymore. Nobody really uses them. They use headbands and all sorts of other things. So coming across a bobby pin, unless you're going to go out and particularly purchase one, you're probably not going to have one. So I've used a tail end of a sparkler here because it's something I had. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to make a tool. So I'm just going to bend it at probably about halfway now. And I'm going to bring, bring them down like that bit of a U shape and I'm going to bring this one down a little bit more and I'm left with it maybe an R shape now this is very pliable to do with your hands so what I'm trying to achieve here is something along those lines now I want it to be about the length of the key so I'm going to probably just chop this little end off here okay now I have to get both parts into the hole so let's see if we can get both parts into the hole. Once I have both parts in the hole, as you can see there, I'm going to zoom in for this. Okay, so now, now you can see quite clearly what's going on. So now what I need to do is jiggle it as I apply tension, and you can see that the cylinder... I'm going to try my key now and it's not working. See that? It's not working. So, let's start picking this with a bobby pin. Here we have our bobby pin, or close enough to, and we're simply going to insert that. Now, by giving this a little bit of up and down movement, and a little bit of left to right movement, in a circular fashion, if that doesn't work, push a little bit more, in a circular fashion. If that doesn't work, try anti-clockwise fashion. You can use two hands if you need until the lock has turned from the 12 o'clock position. This is the 12 o'clock position here and the lock is now at the 1 o'clock position. I then use what's left of, of the bobby pin and I rotate the lock as much as I can to turn. If you find that the lock is not rotating you might need to use an additional key or a screwdriver to slightly insert the tip to give you some turning pressure where you can turn the lock to the unlocked position. This is how you open a lock with a bobby pin. Let me show you how this is done. Okay so to start off with first thing we're just going to take the lock off the door Many different locks operate different ways, so you can get your lock off the door in whichever fashion you see fit, depending on what type of lock it is. For this example, we're just using a 001. Now I just need to rotate it to get this hub off. Go. We can take that out, and here we have our lock cylinder. Take our lock cylinder out. Let's put that behind me there. Okay, now to do this, we're going to need to take this circ clip off the back. Your lock might be slightly different, you might have a different setup at the back of how how it's held together but you will need to do this step I'm 
My screwdriver I'm using is way too big. Okay, so what we need to do now is either take the key or rotate the cylinder into the unlocked position, use a follower, and follow through. In this particular example, I've loaded up only the first chamber and I've loaded it up with a number four pin, which is pretty much middle of the road. I've also only loaded up the first chamber. You can see that. And only one down the back. We now can put the cylinder back together. Time. You'll actually need to use your original keys to put into the cylinder, turn it, and then use the follower to basically bring it down to just one pin. When you have one pin in the lock, you can use just about anything. I'm using a jiggler here and it's open. Let's see that again. I'm using my bobby pin. I put one down the bottom, I space them out, I give it a bit of a wiggle and a, and a jiggle. So I'm going to modify my tool a little bit to give me a little bit more room. And just wiggling around. Putting a little bit of pressure on it, and it is now unlocked, as you can see. Okay, so the moral of the story is, if you would like to pick a lock with a bobby pin, or you would like to pick a lock with um, a hair clip or anything along those lines, or even a little bit of a leftover sparkler, you can do it. It's not that hard. You will need to dismantle your lock, just like any good magic trick, and just like they do on the movies, you will need to dismantle your lock and set it up in that fashion, otherwise you will not be able to do it. With this lock here, it comes standard with all of these type of pins. And these pins here, I'm going to zoom in right on them so you can see what type of pins they are. They're some of the toughest ones uh, that we have to deal with on a regular basis. Yeah, they are there. These are what we call spool pins. And if I can show it to you, here we are there. You see how it's got those two little lumps on either side? It's bigger on the top and bottom diameter than it is in the middle. This creates a trapping effect. On top of that, Lockwood has also gone to the trouble of introducing stronger springs. On top of that, they've also gone to the trouble of introducing tighter tolerances between the housing and the plug. So just to be able to pick this lock, this particular lock, just to be able to pick it with a hand pick and a tension tool, which is very common locksmithing tools, might take anywhere from 5 to 20 minutes and can be a battle. To pick it with a snap gun, lock aid or a pick gun and a tension tool can also, you might get lucky, but most of the time it's going to be quite a challenge to actually do that. It's not going to be an easy task, especially when it's loaded up with five spool pins. Using jigglers and a tension tool can be done, but once again, it's all up to your luck and technique to how long it'll actually take to do it. So if you want to pick a lock like this with a bobby pin, the best idea is to do the preparation and set the lock up for it. If not, you're not going to have much luck doing it. I've been to a job last week where a, a disheartened customer was sitting there waiting for me to turn up. And when he got there, I could see nothing but uh, about 20 bobby pins. I don't know where he even got them from these days. But he had 20 bobby pins he probably borrowed off his neighbour. And he was trying on this particular lock. And he was disheartened because it didn't work. And he felt like maybe he just wasn't trying hard enough. And when I looked at the bobby pins, I thought, there's no way you're ever going to get that. It's impossible. Uh, well, it is possible for a good locksmith with a lot of time on their hands. But impossible for a regular person. To be able to do it. So what you see in the movies is similar to this. It is just basically um, a mocked up situation. Bang, it's unlocked. That's what you're seeing. 
you're not actually seeing real lock picking and you're not seeing real locksmithing and I'll show you a few clips now from a few of the movies so you can get a general idea of what we're talking about. Earlier today I taught you all how to pick a lock with a bobby pin. I want you to practice on this door. I've got bobby pins for all of you. Here's your bobby pin. This is your bobby pin. This is your bobby pin. This is your punk ass bobby pin. Take it. You unlock the door, you won't freeze to death. Be anyway, that's our movie, uh, that's our video for the day of basically picking locks like they do in the movies and how to pick it with a bobby pin. If you've enjoyed this video, please like, share and subscribe. Leave a comment down below. It's always good to see what other locksmiths think around around uh, around the world. And if you've had customers at all um, are a little bit um, upset or a little bit impatient because you're not picking it as quick as they do in the movies, leave a comment or a story down below. It's always interesting and exciting to see what's happening uh, for other locksmiths. Thanks for watching.